Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Android smartphone into a fully functional workstation. So for this tutorial, obviously we are going to need a couple of things. We need a mouse, a keyboard, a monitor. I'm going to be using an HDMI cable. I have an Ouya Bluetooth controller because I am going to show you some gaming. I have this little uh, cell phone stand to keep the phone propped up in case I want to use the camera on it as a webcam. And then obviously you're going to need an Android smartphone. A small USB hub is recommended. And last but not least, you do need an adapter that goes from your cell phone to HDMI or mini HDMI so we can actually plug it up to the monitor. Just to show you what the setup's gonna kinda look like, obviously we have this adapter that goes from USB-C and it's got an HDMI, a USB, and another USB-C. So we're gonna plug that in. The phone should recognize the adapter. And then I'm going to take a small USB hub and plug that in to the one available USB port. And then obviously we're going to put the keyboard and mouse in here and the HDMI cable in here. Now for the application side of things we're going to be using an app called Sentio, Sentio which basically turns your phone into a fully functional desktop environment. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this. That way you guys can mess with it. So once you have Sentio installed on your phone and you're running it and you have everything plugged up and ready to go, it should look something like this. And long story short, I can use the mouse, the keyboard, just like I would any normal desktop or laptop. And the really nice thing about this is I can also run multiple apps. in multiple windows at any given time. So it really begs the question, why would anybody want to do this? Well, first of all, a lot of people just want an all-in-one device that does everything. Some people don't want to have a tablet, a laptop, a desktop. So this is a great solution to just come home, dock your phone in, and use it like you would a normal workstation. Now, I did test this before setting this up and filming this tutorial. You can install Microsoft Word. You can have web browser open. You can do your video chat just like you normally would. That's why I actually have this little TY stand here so I can actually point the camera at me and pick up the microphone. Now, the nice thing about this is obviously if you want, you can hook up external speakers, but I find that the speaker on the phone is loud enough, especially for this setup. Be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to eat my way. But that's the deal. For it's a wee rat problem I've got in the cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Please keep in mind that. It does take a little bit of configuring, getting the Bluetooth controller to also work with the keyboard and the mouse. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below to the app that I use to make it into a desktop environment. The app is called Sentino and it is free. I will also leave a link in the description below for all the little adapters and devices that I use, so if you want to give this a shot, you can. As far as the functionality of this, I would basically compare it to a Chromebook with a little more functionality and the reason I say that is because you're not bound by all the Google programs like you can get Microsoft Word on here you can get different browsers on here like Firefox Google Chrome etc and you can play almost all the Android games out there and it's really nice when it's a Bluetooth controller compatible or a controller compatible because you're able to actually play driving games on a full screen and it actually makes even some games even easier to use because a lot of them have a lot of swiping and tapping that it's just easier with a controller or a mouse or a keyboard. The phone I used today was a Samsung S8. Now, I didn't try this on older phones because I didn't have the proper adapters to get it plugged up to the screen. Depending on your phone may require different adapters. But if you have an S8, you should be able to do everything that I did here today. Until next time, have a great one.